I'm Jim from Radio.co and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can set up our new desktop software that lets you and your DJs broadcast live from your computer or laptop. It's easy to set up, you can play music on any application such as Spotify or iTunes and you can use a USB microphone to talk over the music. Now, to get started, uh, download the broadcaster from our help center and then follow the steps to install it on your Windows computer. Then, when you open the program, you'll see the login screen. Enter your radio.co login details, and when you've logged in successfully, you'll see this screen. Here, you can choose from any stations that you have access to, to broadcast. When you've selected the station, click the red button to get ready to broadcast. There's a variety of options on this screen, so I'll go through them one by one. At the top, you can see a box showing you the time until your live event starts. This will also show you how long you have left when the event begins. If you're the station owner and have Live Anytime enabled, then this will simply show Live Anytime enabled. Moving down, you can see a space to enter some track information. In order to send track information to Radio.co, you can enter the track name here. Next, we can see two volume sliders. These will adjust the volume for both inputs that you can have. More on that later. You can also mute each input if you prefer, like so. Then, there's the big red button to go live. If the event has started, click this and you'll connect to your station straight away. You also have the option here to connect automatically uh, when the event starts so you don't need to worry about connecting yourself. Let's move on to the settings menu. Starting from the top, you can see the option to select your broadcast quality. Next, there's the option to choose your music source. The Radio.co broadcaster can handle two inputs at the same time, so you can choose the first one here. Another thing the broadcaster lets you do is grab the audio you can hear from the speakers directly without needing to set up stereo mix or loop back through a mixer. You can do this by selecting the speakers option and you'll now see that the text underneath changes to capture sound from your speakers. Then to enable the second input, such as a microphone so you can speak over the music, tick the box next to enable microphone source. Then select your microphone from the drop down menu. The last option we have is to enable the 5 minute pre-connect. The broadcaster allows you to connect to your station up to 5 minutes before the broadcast starts to make sure the connection is working. You won't go live at this point, but you will be connected and ready to take over as soon as the clock on the main screen hits zero and the countdown begins. I'll quickly show you how you can use all of this in practice. For my setup, I only have a microphone connected to my computer and some headphones. I've set up my settings to have the music source as my speakers and my microphone source as my USB microphone. Now I'm going to play some music on YouTube. You can use any software you want for this, such as Serato, Traktor, or any other software that can play audio. At the moment, I've got my microphone muted, but I want to speak over the music in a moment. I'm going to turn the music down, and then unmute my microphone to speak over the top of it. Then, when I'm done, I'm going to mute my microphone again, and turn on the music. Next, I'm going to do a small talking segment whilst I queue up the next song on YouTube. I'm going to start the music off quietly, and then turn it up as I finish, and then mute my microphone. However, if you don't want to use the additional microphone ability within the app, then you can just plug in your mixer and then control your levels in the real world and disable the microphone input. We're really excited to be bringing you the software which we believe will make broadcasting your shows much easier. It means you don't need to set up any complicated settings to make your broadcast work, and this software is also completely free for all Radio.co users, so give it a try today on your Windows computer. Finally, I'd just like to take some time to let you know that this is beta software. This means that there may be some bugs which we'll need to look into. We're also looking for feature suggestions if you have any to improve the finished product. Thanks very much for watching this guide and I hope you'll enjoy using the software. If you have any feedback, notice anything odd or need any assistance using the software, please contact us at help at radio.co and we'll be more than happy to help. And if you've stumbled across this video and you've not yet tried radio.co to power your station, head over to our website to take a tour and start your free 7 day trial today.